Father Daniel had been working as a parish priest when a huge influx of refugees from Urban caused him to change his ministry and focus on those children. No stranger to displacement himself, Daniel was forced to flee Baghdad with his family um, when Al-Qaeda threatened to kill them because they're Christians. How many do you think are actually left? Uh, so, uh, we, uh, after 2003, the numbers of Christians were about 1.5 million. And now uh, the number of Christians is diminishing and uh, we don't have an official statistic but uh, we assume that there still exists about 200,000 Christians. So 1.3 million already left the country and are looking for asylum uh, and traveling to a country which gives them their rights. And those Christians who are returning to Nineveh Plains, how do you think their faith has affected that decision to return? Well, that's really important. Uh, uh, many people were not uh, going back to their homeland uh, in the Nineveh, uh, Nineveh Plain. But uh, with the help of the church, the church worked really hard to restore their faith. And, uh, uh, you know, it's their homeland. They should uh, build their country and uh, it's their home. And what is Nineveh Plains like in terms of conditions? Uh, we can say it's almost destroyed uh, because when ISIS invaded the uh, Nineveh plain, uh, they used to burn all the churches and all the houses and all the shops. So it's almost destroyed. So now uh, we're trying with the help of so many organizations around the world, with the uh, Western governments and also the central government of Iraq to rebuild everything. But it's still uh, very expensive. And uh, we think that because the whole cost of the rebuilding the Nineveh plane will cost more than one billion US dollars. So it's a huge cost. Now, there are still some uh, places in Nineveh where the Christians can't go back and live there. They're still like, uh, there's no trust between the Christians and their neighbors. Uh, because what happened is that when the Christians uh, uh, came or they flee to uh, peaceful places, their neighbors start to steal their furniture and to control over their property. So also there's no trust. So it needs time. It's a very long process. Well, hopefully uh, the Christian will be able one day to go back again to Mosul and live there. Because now we're talking about just Nineveh Plain, where the Christians are going back. But to the city of Mosul, uh, I don't think there is any Christian to, until now he went back in uh, living there. The children that you work with, do you think it's possible for them to heal and um, recover from the experiences that they've gone through? I had in my center uh, more than 360 children. Um, in the beginning, they suffered; uh, they were traumatized, and we work hard. We work really hard with them to heal this trauma through different levels, like the music class, the dancing class, drama class, and we gave them the chance to express themselves and not to depress their feelings. So that was a good sign. We were uh, thinking of that, uh, getting all the negative energy from inside and putting something positive, uh, uh, especially through the art. Uh, I remember uh, the first day when they came to our center, I told them, please draw your dream what you want to become. So I remember many drawings where uh, they want to join to the army, they want to kill ISIS, like they want to take up on their revenge. And uh, so we start to work with them. And after six months, I did the same uh, activity. So I told them, now draw your dreams. And uh, I remember I saw doctors, engineers, nurses, teachers. Yeah, and there was also some of them who wants to be uh, pop stars, like Adele, like Britney, like, so it was, yeah, it was something really nice. So that was a sign that the children already uh, have recovered. Um, for our children, I think they do have the resilience now. Uh, they are ready to, uh, you know, live with their neighbors, with the other children. But uh, still, the question is, what about the other children from the other side? Are they ready to get involved with our children in different activities or no? Because uh, you know what ISIS did or what the radical groups have done in Iraq, especially in the places where they took control, uh, they spread the monothought and the mono-religion idea. Like if you're not with the same religion, you have to be uh, exterminated. So. Uh, this, unfortunately, this idea has been spread among uh, the people of Mosul.